Hi, I'm Dr. Jerry Jackson, out with the wild things. Australia is known for its marsupial mammals, kangaroos, koalas, and such. But South America also has marsupials, including more than 60 species of opossums, marsupials found only in the New World. All New World opossums are small, and some are highly specialized. Only the Virginia opossum made it across the Central American land bridge into Mexico and North America. The Virginia opossum is the largest opossum, about the size of a house cat, but with shorter legs and heavier, sometimes weighing as much as 13 pounds. The Virginia opossum's success is linked to its reproductive rate, producing as many as 13 young in each litter, and often more than one litter per year and its ability to eat almost anything. Today, the Virginia opossum is found from Costa Rica to southern Canada and from coast to coast. Historically, it was known only from east of the Rocky Mountains. The Virginia opossum was introduced to California in 1895, and during the Great Depression of the 1930s, more may have been introduced there. Within the past century, it spread throughout California and in the east, north, into southern Canada, taking advantage of habitats and food provided inadvertently by humans. We all know the expression, playing possum, pretending to be asleep when you're really not, a favorite kid's trick after the magic hour when kids are supposed to be in bed. The expression comes from a characteristic behavior of the Virginia opossum, often described as a ruse to make predators think it is dead. Such a trick might not do much for the possum because some predators are glad to find a tasty meal dead or alive. However, it does sometimes work in discouraging dogs. A dog will grab a live possum, shake it, and when the possum goes limp, it often drops it and leaves. Before fainting, a Virginia opossum opens its mouth, bares its 50 teeth in a threatening show, and drools excessively, enough to scare most humans. Our opossum's movements are slow and mostly bluff. If the viciousness bluff doesn't work, the possum's nervous system seems to become overloaded and it faints dead away. Its faint can be for less than a minute or it can sometimes last for hours. It may be a behavior that saves the possum's life, but there's no play to it. Part of the scientific name of our opossum, Didelphus, refers to the female's reproductive tract. She has two separate uteri opening to the outside. Didelphus comes from the Greek and means two wombs. The anatomy of male opossums is also unusual. He has a forked penis, one branch providing sperm for each uterus. Until the female reproductive anatomy of our opossum was understood, the colloquial wisdom was that a female opossum's eggs were fertilized through her nose, the male inserting his forked penis into the female's nostrils. Within two weeks of mating, the female opossum gives birth to pink, nearly limbless babies, 13 of which together weigh less than a nickel. The female licks her fur, preparing a path between the opening of her reproductive tract and her pouch. Each baby is on its own to get there. Once safely inside, a baby grabs onto a nipple and the nipple swells, preventing the newborn from letting go. There, the babies remain for about two months. Young opossums continue nursing for another month, then the babies are on their own, some producing their own young within six months. On average, Virginia opossums live less than two years, slightly longer in captivity. They mature quickly and can produce up to 13 young when they are less than a year old, followed by another litter within about three months. Breeding seems timed so that young are born when food is most abundant. Although 18 or more young may be born, no more than 13 can survive because females have only 13 nipples, 12 arranged in a circle and the 13th in the center of that circle. The average possum brood includes six to nine young. The female's nipples are within her pouch and at birth, young must crawl through the mother's fur to reach them. It's a race for life. If all nipples are taken, a baby is out of luck. Once a newborn possum grabs hold of a nipple, it swells in the baby's mouth so that it can't let go until the young possum is much older, forming a fixed pipeline of nourishment until the baby is mature enough to hang on for the ride. Virginia opossums are primitive, slow-moving, and short-lived, but they have not only survived but thrived in our modern world. 
Reasons for their success reflect their behavior and ecology. Our possums don't hibernate. They survive cold winter weather by crawling into tree cavities, under buildings, or into other sheltered places. Cold weather does take a toll. With a close look at Florida's possums' ears, you'll find they are bare and rounded, black at the base, but pink along the outer edges. If you examine a possum from a northern area, you may find that its ears are short, black, and scalloped in appearance. This is not the way it was born. The black pigment helps the possum retain body heat. The pink lobes, however, often freeze solid and fall off, leaving a smaller ear with scalloped edges. Possums were once limited primarily to warmer areas, perhaps because of both cold weather and a lack of food in winter. Because of human garbage and relatively available pet foods in suburbia, the Virginia opossum has expanded its range north into southern Canada. The Virginia opossum is not a picky eater. It will eat almost anything. With the Wild Things is produced at the Whitaker Center and the College of Arts and Sciences at Florida Gulf Coast University. For the Wild Things, I'm Dr. Jerry Jackson.